Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. And here's the verse of the day for 11 11 2023. And it's Psalms 121 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. And before we even get started, all glory, praise, and honor, and credit, and recognition to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And he said, there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And he said, Jerusalem would be surrounded by armies, and they are. And he said, when you see these things come to pass, then lift your heads up, your redemption draweth near. And it is. And Jesus Christ never lies. So keep your heads lifted up, family. And since the last video I put out, all glory to our Father, the one where I showed you that Ristina was with child, and Ristina means Christina, a follower of Jesus Christ, since that last video, what he has revealed to me is completely beyond gigantinormous. And I'm about to jump right into it. But first, happy Veterans Day, 11-11. And if you didn't know, World War I ended on 11-11. That's why it's Veterans Day. And World War III is about to kick off any day. And since my last video, Israel and the U.S. have both bombed Syria. And the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where he said they would be. And he showed me on July 25th that child would be coming out of the woman on September 19th when she was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet, just like Revelation 12. And these signs led us right to Israel being attacked on October 7th, 10-7. And I told you, if you follow the signs, it will lead you right to the rapture. And I showed you, Elon Musk's spacecraft Crew Dragon X-7 was circling the child and Israel. And I showed you what they call the Dragon spacecraft is called Dragon X-7. And X in Roman numerals is 10. Dragon 10-7. And again, Israel was invaded and attacked on 10-7, family. And the dragon, 10-7, is still circling child and Israel. It's still circling Ristina and child, and Ristina is still with child right now. And after that last video, our brother Ronnie called me and he told me that he had a dream that he was in heaven. And he looked and he seen Christina. And he said to her, you're Christina. And she said, yes. And she was super excited. He said, beyond excited, ecstatic. And she told him that she had a message for me, that she wanted him to relay to me. And when she told him the message, he said he was blown away. And they were both super excited and celebrating. And now I'm being hit with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And he said that she was holding a blanket. And then Ronnie woke up, but he couldn't remember what she had told him. And Ronnie felt bad because he didn't remember what she said. But as soon as he told me the dream, I told him it's all right because I think I'll be able to put it together what she said. I instantly felt like she was super excited because she told him that we were coming home. The rapture was going to happen this year. And I thought of several things and then I went to bed and when I woke up, Jesus Christ told me as soon as I woke up, do you remember Christina's dream? And I said, which one, Jesus Christ? And he said, the one that I gave her and showed her that she was pregnant with child. And it hit me instantly. And I went straight to the last video that I talked about it. And there's a couple videos where I talk about it. And here it is, right here, in Christina's dream. And she was pregnant, and God showed her a calendar. And December 19th was circled, and it said on the calendar that that was her due date. And then after Christina escaped, I had a dream of Christina. And it's right here.
And here's what happened. In my dream, I was standing in the living room and I looked to my right. And Christina was right there. And I said, Christina, excited as I always am when I see her. And she said, love her. And I looked to my left by the front door and there's three presents stacked by the front door, all wrapped exactly the same, real tight. Christina was like a professional rapper when it came to presents. None of them had a bow. None of them had a name tag. There was just three presents by the door, one small, medium, and large. And they were wrapped in blue and white wrapping paper. And I turned back to Christina and said, what are these gifts for? And she said to me, just grab them. We got to go. So we grabbed the presents and went out the door and I woke up. And the first thing that hit me is, wow, I was dreaming and I was so happy and excited that I got to see Christina. And that Jesus Christ answered my prayers. So I started praising our father and giving him all the glory in Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua HaMashiach. And then it all started going through my head, the interpretations. And obviously, since there was presence and we're approaching Hanukkah and what they call Christmas, it made sense because of the timing. So I shared this dream with the brother and he reminded me and sent me this. Hanukkah colors. Today's Hanukkah decorations carry on the tradition of the holidays, early American popularity in that they look just like Christmas decorations, but they're blue and white. The same colors as the presents by the door in my dream. And just to make it clear, like I try to do as often as possible, I'm not setting a rapture date. I'm not saying the rapture's on Hanukkah. I'm not saying the rapture's on any date. What I'm going to show you is how gigantinormous these signs are around the date that God showed her this calendar and had December 19th circled and it was her due date. And again, in the last video I showed you, Ristina is with child. And again, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Because since he showed me child, it led right to Israel being attacked. And now Israel is at war with Gaza and Syria and Lebanon. And then it led me to show you what I believe is bigger than him showing me child. The signs that I'm about to go over with you are undeniable. They're beyond gigantinormous. They're the biggest signs that I've ever seen. And the word never lies. Habakkuk 2.2 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Like right now, when Israel's being attacked. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And again, since that happened, Israel was attacked and invaded. And thousands of people have been killed. And hundreds of people have been kidnapped and taken hostage. And right now, today, on 11-11, Israel is at war and it's day 36. And the word is true and it's being fulfilled. Psalms 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament shew his handiwork. Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night sheweth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. And right here is a picture of a tabernacle with the sun. And here's what he showed me. We're approaching the day when the sun is perfectly set on what looks like the tabernacle in the heavens, and the heavens declare the glory of God. And right there on the sun is an asteroid star called Resnik. And the meaning is a Jewish slaughter, a German and Americanized Jewish slaughter. 
And right underneath that on the sun, only on one day this year, is Adoria. And the meaning of Adoria is wheat and barley. And again, I'm not saying or setting a rapture date. I'm not saying it's on any certain date. We can't limit God and he could come any time. So I'm not saying that the rapture is on Christina's due date when God showed her that she was pregnant with child and the calendar was circled on December 19th and that was her due date. And you sisters and you brothers already know when you're pregnant and your doctor gives you a due date, he's telling you that your child will probably be born around that date. And we're supposed to be waiting for our bridegroom to come immediately and open the door unto him immediately. But what I will say is, it looks like he's showing us the date. And after I reveal what he's revealed to me, to you, get on your knees and ask him for confirmation. And ask yourself, does this look like the rapture date? And remember, Israel is 75 years old. And Israel became a nation in 1948. And remember, Abraham was born 1948 years after God created Adam. And when Abraham was 75, just like Israel's 75, God made the covenant with him to give him the land 2,023 years after he created Adam. So it lines up perfectly with this year and the Jews and the Muslims fighting over the land right now. And the beginning will be like the end. And I'm hoping he comes today, right now, as soon as possible, but he told us to be patient and keep his word. And these signs cannot be denied. And as you can see right there, December's new moon is at 2332 universal time. And I'll walk you straight to the new moon. It's on 12-8. As you can see, again, it's at 23-32 universal time. And Strong's Bible Concordance, 23-32, the definition is life, the first woman, Eve. And most of you that are reporting your rapture dreams have had rapture dreams on a full moon. So I'll walk you to the full moon. It's on December 27th. Right there. Right when the sun is on the tip of the tabernacle. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. And here's what's beyond gigantinormous. And this only happens one day. Is it on the tip perfectly lined up with the sun? On the 27th, the full moon. And the full moon on the 27th is at 33 UTC time, family. And as you can see right there, 33 in Bible Strong's Concordance, the word is, the transliteration is age. Like Jesus Christ's age when he was crucified, 33. And the definition of 33 is, come, come now. And as you can see right there, on that date, the full moon, Adoria, which stands for wheat and barley, is right there. And now I'll take you to the full moon. Because the full moon is right in the twins that represent Jacob and Esau. And the land. And the war. And everything. And there's much more. And I'll zoom in. And you can see right under the moon, right next to the moon, is Hedwig. And as you can see right there, Hedwig, the meaning is battle, combat, war. And on the other side of the moon is Biblis. And when you look up the meaning, it means Bible. Now back to the sun setting on the tabernacle during the full moon that's at 33. That means in Strong's, come, come now. After Psalms 19 verse 4 says, In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Verse 5 is, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. And all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, after I handed out another round of backpacks and tents out here in the Bay Area, California, 
I got back to the garage and I heard Jesus Christ tell me, look and see if the bridegroom is coming out of his chamber. So on that day, I went to groom and groom is in the water bearer right then. And here's what's gigantinormous. Right underneath groom is the star 70. And right next to groom on the right, is an asteroid, a star called Damas, Chegolev. Well, here's what's extremely gigantinormous. With the Jewish slaughter and battle and war and combat, Damas, when you look it up, the meaning, it's right here, an ancient city, widely regarded as the world's oldest, the present capital and largest city of Syria. And Syria's capital is Damascus. Right next to Groom is an asteroid, a star, that means Damascus. And Cheg means an awesome being, completing an awesome action in an awesome way. Like the rapture, like Jesus Christ. He's the most awesome that there is. But it gets way more gigantinormous. That full moon at 33 UTC time when the sun is set on the tabernacle on 1227. I'll show you why it's way more gigantinormous because the original, the first Hanukkah was in the year 164 BCE, Kislev 25. And when you go to that date on the Torah calendar, it was Hanukkah when Judah Maccabee defeated Antiochus, the first Antichrist, and took back the temple. It was on December 19th, just like Christina's dream when she was pregnant with child and God showed her a calendar and it was December 19th circled and he told her that was your due date. And on the last day of Hanukkah, it was December 25th and 26th Christmas. And that same year that Hanukkah was created and Judah Maccabee took back the temple, on December 27th, it was the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem, family. The same day as the full moon at 33 UTC. That means come, come now. Jesus Christ age, 33. But it gets bigger. You remember Obama's war on Christmas? Well, this year, 2023, Christmas Eve, December 24th, is the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem. Put it together, family. Israel will be attacked, which happened. Jerusalem will be attacked, and it's going to happen, and we're going home. And I'm feeling his Holy Spirit again. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And if we're still here, this will be the biggest watch week ever. And I'll show you why right now. Because the first Antichrist, Antiochus, captured Jerusalem in 167 BC. When the first Antichrist, Antiochus, abominated the temple and cut a pig's head off and brought it in the temple and desecrated the temple and the altar, it was on New Year's Eve on the Torah calendar. It's right there, the siege of Jerusalem, 167 BC. It's a one-week gap, the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem, since it happened in 167 BC to right now, next month, 2023, on Christmas Eve. And this runs with Hosea 6-2. If there's a war on Christmas... And Jerusalem is attacked on Christmas. After two days will he revive us. And on the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Hallelujah. And that would lead us right to December 27th. And I'm not setting a date. I'm showing you the signs. And it looks like that's the rapture. When the sun is set on the tabernacle. Psalms 19.4 When Resnick is right there, and it means Jewish slaughter, and Adoria is right there, and it means wheat and barley, and I'm being blown up again, praise you Father for your Holy Spirit, it's the exact same time that the full moon is in the twins, Jacob 
Esau, the land, Abraham, the covenant, 1948, 2023. And that full moon is at 33 UTC. And the transliteration is age. Jesus Christ age when he died for our sin and gave us eternal life for believing in him. And the definition is come, come now.